Hi, this is Shiva's Hollow Clock. I have made this with one simple modification. In this video, we are going to see how we build this clock and also the modification I have done with this clock. One day, I landed on the Shura's Instructables website and there I saw this Hollow Clock 4 and I was amazed with the design. So hats off to Shiura's design. While observing this Shiura's hollow clock, one idea struck in my mind. So I decided to implement that simple modification. So let's see how we build this hollow clock. So let's see all the required parts to build the clock. To understand, let's divide this into two sections. So this section is a kind of hardware section. Uh, this is the electronics and software section. This worm gear is the bridge between hardware section and electronics and software section. This is gear wheel for our end and is going to rotate with the help of this worm gear. Now let's see about minute hand. So this is minute gear wheel. This same worm gear will rotate minute gear also. So let's see how. So to rotate this minute hand with the same worm gear, we have two more gear wheels. This is how we will assemble it and further on. This gear wheel will connect in this fashion. So worm gear will rotate our gear wheel and this assembly, this gear and this gear together will rotate minute gear wheel. And we will rotate worm gear with the help of this stepper motor. So we will insert motor shaft into rectangular hole of the gear wheel and we will control this motor with the help of this controller board. Controller board is further controlled by this Arduino Nano board. We shall load a small piece of code in this Arduino Nano board. Now let's put these parts together. So first we will put this gear wheel into this enclosure. This enclosure is designed to fit the worm gear, gear wheels. Now let's put these two gear wheels. So first we will put this minute hand gear wheel into front enclosure. So the, the there is a hole for screw. So we will put this hole in the back side. Now let's put our end gear wheel. Okay. Now let's put this our end. Our end is having a hole here cavity. So here we shall put this neodymium magnet. Here also we have two holes. We shall also put two magnets. So first we shall put these two magnets. So north south. So one will go here in this hole and one will go in this. Now we shall put this magnet into this hole. This should attract. This is right. Now when we fix this our end here and as soon as the our rotor starts rotating this our end will also rotate with the power of magnet we have kept the screw slightly loose so that this our end will rotate freely okay now we shall close this entire assembly with this back cover we can also stick these kind of colors of our choice to this minute hand we can put entire assembly in this hole So the hardware section is done. Now let's move towards the next section that is electronics and software section. Now this is Arduino nano board. We will load a piece of code in this microcontroller. So let's connect this board to computer. This is Arduino ID. So let's select the board. Press OK. Let's click on the upload. This code is available for download on Shura's Instructable page. It is uploading done. These are ports on the Arduino Nano boards. We shall be connecting the motor control board pins to these ports 2, 3, 4 and 5. We will see it later on. And this is the millis per minute. We can adjust this value to control the rotation of the motor. We will see it later on. Here there is a very compact space. So what we shall do, we shall arrange the this Arduino board and this controller board like this. Here 
we are going to keep the motor we shall also bend these pins on the motor controller board we are going to connect the pins of this controller board to the d2 d3 d4 and d5 pins of the arduino nano board we have prepared such kind of header pins we have bent this in 90 degrees and we shall put these pins into d2 d3 and similarly in d4 and d5 we shall connect these pins like this voltage range of this arduino nano board is 7 volt to 12 volt so we shall be using these two 3.7 volt batteries connected in series and check the voltage it's showing 7.13 volt this voltage is okay for arduino nano board also the voltage range of this motor control board is 5 volt to 12 volt this red wire connected here is 5 volt output so we have given the 5 volt output to this board from this arduino nano board from here to here and the ground from the from this point now let's see the worm gear rotates in anti clockwise direction so it's rotating in anti clockwise direction so let's put this together So this is how I have arranged all the components. Now let's put this entire clock assembly. So the clock is ready. Currently for the sake of video, it is set to 2000 milliseconds per minute. So I have done this modification. I have stick a piece of acrylic sheet here. So from the distance, it appears as a true hollow clock. It is not that perfect because the edges of the acrylic sheet are still slightly visible. But from distance, it is doing its job quite nicely.